What's going on guys? My name is Kerry and today I've got a real special treat for you. What we've got is a delivery of an 18 foot wide by 44 foot long single wide. And if you're here thinking about ordering a manufactured home and you want to see what a delivery looks like, I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell everyone. Every driveway looks big until you put a house in it. So if you think it might be tight on the corner, make the corner wider. If the, you think a tree is gonna to be too close, take the tree out or trim the branches because it looks like a lot of room. Tell you park a house in there and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I didn't expect that. Now, this is a beautiful little house and we are gonna do a home tour of it. So definitely subscribe to my channel because that's coming next week and you don't wanna miss it. All right, strap in, get your popcorn because this is a little bit longer than I normally do, but it goes from one end to the other, the full delivery process. So let's check it out. All right, I just swung by the parking lot here to see if the house was here yet because there's an off chance it was gonna leave the Alberta border early. So it's 11.30, I thought maybe they would have snuck in by now, but no such luck, so I'm gonna go home to bed. Um, there's snow in the forecast for tonight, so that could make things interesting for tomorrow. I've got my fingers crossed, it doesn't snow and we can just pull this thing up the street to Anita's property, get it onto the site and unload it, and it's gonna be real smooth. But you know what, that never really seems to be the case. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. I got good news, guys. Look at this right in front of me. Okay, I'm standing at the back. That's 18 feet wide, and it's 44 feet long. So they've got a door. This will be the back door couple windows that's the living room dining room there and then this side they've got a big pitcher window and the front door so this is a nice little house but what's gonna be most interesting is how it's gonna fit into that driveway okay here we go they're coming up the street this is the driveway we're gonna be going up Here they come. Gonna get run over here. <laughs> so it's nice because it is a tight spot, but it's just a, it's an 18 foot wide house, but it's short, it's 44 feet long. And that's definitely gonna help us out on a few of these turns. See if I'm right in the way. Little click on that sign. Hopefully, I don't give it a little kiss. Somebody's swinging. Ooh a little bit. So this is the part I wasn't sure about because these trees were 21 feet apart, but they kind of angle in. So we may need to trim some of these back. He didn't seem too concerned about it. Looks like he's just gonna take it slow. room on this side. These leaves are going to give it a nice little cleaning up there. So the house is actually going on the left property, that driveway over there. But we couldn't get it through so the neighbor was kind enough to let us go through his yard and then they made an access at the back to get to the other yard. These properties are really deep. They're acreages inside of town. I'm 
making quick work of this so far by the fence. These guys, the kids weren't expecting it. <laughs> a house go through their front yard. Now there's that nice little roundabout over there. It's nice because this guy's got a, uh oh. Hey buddy. Good morning. He's got a, a truck that he uses for work. So he's got this roundabout that was pre-built. Is he gonna use it? No, nope, not even gonna take it. What a beautiful morning though. I was, was a little bit worried that we'd end up with snow. But no, it's not even that cold. Look at this. Love it when a plan comes together. Looks like it might back here. There's the hole we're going through over here. So I think he's going to back it from here all the way up the hill. There's a bit of a hill over there and then he's pulling it forward. Let's see. I'm glad these folks wanted a shorter house because it would have been tough. Tough going with anything too big coming through here. That's a cool shot right there. We should just block it right there. Okay, so changed my vantage point. We're through the hole coming from the neighbor's property. Like I said, we couldn't have got it up here without them letting us go through there. He's gonna back it up this hill into those trees look at this property though holy crap this time of morning too it just looks even better and then there's the pad right there so he'll pull it forward onto that it's gonna back up right in there pull forward then he's gonna unhook right up front so he's straighten her out Here it comes. Well, that was the hard part, I think. The rest should be a breeze. All right, he's coming up the hill. Had to take a quick pause because this is super soft up here. We've had a lot of rain. So they brought these plastic sheets that are under this plywood and then they put the plywood over so the truck doesn't sink. Because as you can see over here, it's pretty soft and this is where the trench came up for the hydro so it's loose from all the gravel or from all the rain sorry and uh, the driver was worried that the truck was going to sink in it and get stuck so this should solve that this is a nice little system they've got running here 
So he's gonna back up into those trees and then pull forward through here and then he can head out that side, same way he came in down the other guy's driveway. It's perfect. Okay, so instead of going back into those trees, there was a, tr a cedar on the other side of the truck that the customer really wanted to keep. So what he did is he backed it up. Now he's gonna unpin, straighten his truck out on the pad and then pull it forward. So that's the tree right there that they wanted to save. So some quick thinking by the trucker, Jason, that's gonna save that tree and the customer is gonna be very happy with them. So they're just unhooking now and then he's gonna straighten this thing out and pull her on forward. There he goes, be a good little test. Let's see if he sinks it all on that left side where there's no plywood. Looks pretty good. Hook back up, bring her forward, and we'll be ready to unload. Here we go, the last. 20 feet here. Looks to be lined up. Thing of beauty. Let's see if he hits it the first time. I'm gonna guess, yeah, he's gonna do it because he's a pro. pretty close. Okay, so we've got the home blocked up at the back. You can see it's resting on those two blocks on the frame. They've lifted the front so that they can pull the dollies out. And then they'll lower it down, unhook the truck, and this delivery will be done. There they go. Back to Lethbridge to pick up another house. There it is, guys. The delivery went actually pretty smooth, no snow made it up the driveway through the trees, no problem. Um, I'm gonna end this here, but make sure you subscribe to my channel because we are going inside in the next one. We're gonna do a full home tour of this 18 by 44, two bedroom, one and a half bathroom home. Thanks for watching.